RC circuits. In this lab, you will be charging and discharging a capacitor while it is being watched by Logger Pro. You will be using a 5 volt power supply, like the ones used in Speed of a Pulse, which will be going through a resistor into this three-way switch. The switch is set up so that when you have it put one way, one of the orange and connections is connected to the center post, and when you place it the other way, the center post is connected to the other orange connection. In this lab, we will be using one side of that circuit to charge, so it will include the 5 volt power supply and the charging resistor, and the other side to discharge. So we will only have the discharging resistor. There is a listed value on every capacitor that is approximately correct. You will be trying to use the charging and discharging curves to calculate the exact capacitance of the capacitor. We will be using the approximate value to make sure that your RC constant is appropriate. Part of this lab will be trying to determine what, what resistances, Rs, will match with your C capacitor to get an RC constant that is appropriate for the time frame of this experiment. Not all resistor capacitor combinations will work. Some will be far too fast and some will be far too slow. The capacitors we will be using in this lab are electrolytic capacitors. Exactly what that means isn't important beyond the fact that unlike the capacitors in your textbook, these are not reversible. On all capacitors, one side of the capacitor will be labeled positive, and that side must be at the higher voltage than the other side. On your 5-volt power supply, you will know which side is plus 5 and which side is ground by the labels on the plug. The ground side has a small tab sticking out that says ground, and the plus 5 volt side should be labeled plus 5 volts. Thank you for watching this video. Here's the fact for this week. Eve Curie did not win the Nobel Prize, but her mother and father won the Nobel Prize in physics. Her mother, sister, and brother-in-law won the Nobel Prize in chemistry, and her husband received a Nobel Peace Prize for his work with UNICEF. Talk about the underachiever of the family.